You're watching the news on Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Skhir Palace the General Secretariat of the newly elected Labour Union Federation led by Secretary General Hassan Al Halwaji. His Majesty praised the role of the Labour Union and their contributions in enhancing the progress and the economic march of the kingdom, pointing out the creativity of the people of Bahrain in various fields. He affirmed the kingdom's keenness to support all efforts aiming to support Bahraini workers in achieving progress and prosperity to the country, hailing the union's movements, gains and achievements. His Majesty then wished the newly elected Labour Labour Union Federation's success, he expressed appreciation for the efforts of the General Secretariat of Labour Union Federation, hailing the contributions of the people of Bahrain in serving their country, affirming the importance of Bahraini women's role and their positive contributions to the kingdom. His Majesty affirmed the importance of cooperation regarding labour in order to benefit workers, enhance productivity and achieve economic progress. He highlighted the role of the Labour Union Federation in defending the Kingdom of Bahrain in Arab and international events and highlighted the success and achievements of the kingdom in different fields. His Majesty also hailed the efforts of the Ministry of Labor and Social Development in training young Bahrainis and qualifying them to contribute to the economic and development movements of the kingdom, lauding the plans and programs implemented by the ministry to make those accomplishments. Al Halwachi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous support and praised the achievements of the labor market in Bahrain under the reform project of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Skhir Palace today the Apostolic Vicar of the Northern Peninsula, Bishop Kamil Balan. His Majesty the King asserted that Bahrain has always been a successful model for tolerance and coexistence among different religions and sects. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of Bishop Balan in humanitarian fields to reinforce the values of good love and peace. He affirmed Bahrain's pride for hosting different religions and faiths as a one open cohesive family thanks to the awareness of its people. His Majesty the King noted the Kingdom's efforts to consult consolidate the values of moderation and coexistence among all religions and reject extremism and intolerance. The meeting discussed a number of ways of spreading the culture of dialogue and religious tolerance among religions followers in addition to means of committing to moderation. In this regard, His Majesty the King highlighted the pioneering initiatives of the Kingdom in hosting gatherings that boost dialogue and coexistence and ensure religious freedom. Bishop Balin, for his part, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his care to different religions, asserting that thanks to the leadership of His Majesty, Bahrain has 
has always been home for everyone without discrimination in a united, loving society. He affirmed that Bahrain is one of the pioneering countries in the region for its tolerance of all religious and faiths, highlighting its rich history of communication and acceptance of others. His Rohan as the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable from His Rohan as the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressing thanks and appreciation to His Rohan as the Prime Minister for patronizing the high level government forum 2016. His Rohan as the Crown Prince hailed the key role played by His Rohan as the Prime Minister in leading the government work, saying that it inspired people to be more determined and to love challenges and achievements. He also affirmed his continuous support to His Rohan as the Prime Minister in developing the National March. In reply, His Rohan as the Prime Minister sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince thanking him for his cable. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the Government Forum 2016 is an impressive initiative by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He added that the forum reinforces the development march and government work and provided an opportunity to discuss ideas and visions that help develop government performance at the levels of services and investments. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended a ceremony yesterday evening for the Isa bin Ali Award for Voluntary Work, which was held under the patronage of Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. It was organized by the Good Word Society in collaboration with the Arab Union for Volunteers. Present were a number of senior officials and guests. In a statement on the occasion, the Deputy Prime Minister stressed the importance of activities and events designed to stimulate giving in Arab societies to serve humanity. He underlined the initiatives adopted by Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa the honorary president of the Good Word Society to highlight areas of voluntary work in Arab societies. Speaking of the ceremony, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa expressed gratitude to submit the directives of the leadership for its prominent role in sustainable development, adding that the patronage of His Royal Highness to the award comes as a translation of the thought and directives of the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, who encouraged the award. For his part, President of the Arab Union for Volunteers, Hassan Bouhazza, said that this prestigious Arab award is based on two main principles, namely appreciation and stimulation, in order to structure volunteer infrastructure in the Arab world. Vice President of the Arab Union for Volunteers, Mohammed Al Asfour, also spoke about achievements of the union. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa honored the winners during the ceremony. A documentary about the Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa Prize is aired during the past six years was also viewed during the ceremony. Under the patronage of Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, an award ceremony took place at the Gulf Hotel organized by the Good Word Society in collaboration with the Arab Union for Volunteers. More details about the winners in this report with Sara al -Brik. Volunteering offers vital help to people in need, worthwhile causes and the community. But the benefits can be even greater to the person volunteering. Not just is it a stress-reducing agent, but it's also a great social activity and also receives recognition from esteemed awards such as the Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa Award, which gives you the right push to go forward. This is a, a payback for the people who have been fighting for uh, the uh, resistance in Palestine in terms of steadfastness and resilience of our people. People like Mazen who has been uh, very devoted for the community work, for developing their communities, resisting what the occupation has been imposing uh, in terms of like uh, depriving the Palestinians from their basic rights. People like Mazen has been struggling uh, tirelessly to simply provide alternative services and hope and wishes for, for uh, you know, to fulfill the dreams of the Palestinian youth and the Palestinian people uh, uh, in general. In a time when voluntary service became something uh, like a dream, it's like a nightmare for others, still you have people who th think in, in a very positive way to bring up momentum for the people who have been to working tirelessly, uh, thanks to the Palestinian embassy in, in Bahrain, thanks to those people who have been around us like Al Kalima Taiba, the Good uh, Word Society, who have been very supportive, who actually uh, encouraged me to nominate a, an active Palestinian personality to win this reward. We are very grateful for the Kingdom of Bahrain for such an initiative that is really brings up the spirit and uh, brings back the, uh, the, 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 the self-esteem and the self-confidence in, in the minds and the hearts of all those who have been working for the, for, to serve their communities in a place like Palestine. Volunteering isn't just in areas of crisis and problems. Sometimes it's in your own community or even home or school. The Academy are the first prize winners of the Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa Award because of their help to fellow students. It means a lot for us, all of us. We're a group 
of volunteers that appreciate this gift. It's encouraging us to do more and more. And it's about like develop other people in subjects and uh, give them give them more help and we're going to encourage more people to join us uh, to to develop others in other subjects like we need a community of uh, much learning people smarter people this is Sarah Barak for Bahrain 55 the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, took part along with world leaders and heads of delegations in the opening of the UN General Assembly to discuss a number of key issues affecting the present and the future of the international community, including the situation in Syria, Yemen and Libya, as well as the Palestinian and the refugee issues. In his speech, the UN Secretary General, Ban Ki-moon, affirmed the importance of the Paris Agreement to achieve sustainable development and improve the future, praising the progress made in regards to climate change and expressing his hope for the implementation of the agreement. He highlighted highlighted the security threats facing countries across the world and armed conflicts that resulted to extremism and violence, pointing out that the Syrian crisis has claimed the largest number of lives, stressing the importance of a political solution to the crisis, calling on all stakeholders to work to achieve that goal. President of the UN 71st, 71st session of the General Assembly, Peter Thompson, addressed the UN Sustainable Development Plan 2030, which aims to provide a better living to all societies in the coming period. The meeting of the UN General Assembly are considered to be an important opportunity to exchange views on key problems and challenges facing the international community to reach an international response to resolve these problems and overcome those challenges. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, took part in a working luncheon that was held by British Foreign Secretary Mr. Boris Johnson for the GCC Foreign Ministers on the sidelines of the 71st session of the UN General Assembly in New York City. The meeting reviewed joint relations between the two sides and means of enhancing and developing them. The two sides will also exchange views on boosting security and stability in the region, in addition to coordination regarding regional and international issues of mutual concern. The Foreign Minister asserted that the constant joint meetings between between the GCC countries and the United Kingdom will enhance the interests of the two sides as they will contribute in finding permanent solutions to the region's conflicts for the security and prosperity of its people. On the sidelines, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met his Surinamese counterpart, Nirmala Badr Singh, in New York. Sheikh Khalid affirmed Bahrain's keenness to bolster cooperation and strengthen ties with the Republic of Suriname in various fields, particularly in the economic field, in view of the cooperation opportunities available in the banking sector. He noted the importance of exchanging official visits to explore new opportunities related to joint ties, as well as to bolster coordination at international gatherings towards various issues. For her part, Minister Badr Singh, expressed her country's appreciation of friendship with Bahrain, affirming keenness to bolster joint ties for the benefit of the two countries. During a reception hosted by the U.S. President, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed, conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to President Barack Obama and his wishes for good health to the American people for further progress and prosperity. He also conveyed His Majesty the King's appreciation for the historical ties between the two countries and their people in various fields. Sheikh Khalid affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to further develop cooperation with the U.S. for the benefit of the two countries, praising the tangible efforts exerted by the U.S. to maintain international security and peace. The Foreign Minister also took part in the joint ministerial meeting between the GCC states and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, Sergei Lavrov. The meeting reviewed the progress of relations between the two sides in various fields and the means of bolstering ties for their benefit and for regional and international security and stability as well as to resolve the crisis in the region to strengthen cooperation between countries and achieve prosperity for its people, in addition to discussions on regional and international issues of mutual interest. The Foreign Ministers also discussed the joint work plan between the GCC and the Russian Federation from 2016 to 2020, which comprises various fields for cooperation, including political dialogue to bolster joint strategic political relations. This is in addition to cooperation in trade and investment to increase the exchange of trade, encourage dialogue between the business communities and increase investment opportunities, as well as cooperation in the field of energy, aimed at developing clean and renewable energy resources in the field of environment, health, culture, education and sports. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Georgia, Mikhail Janelets, on the sidelines of the 71st session of the UN General Assembly in New York. He expressed Bahrain's keenness to bolster relations and cooperation with Georgia in various fields for the benefit of the two countries. Mr. Janelets expressed the keenness of Georgia to develop ties with the Kingdom of Bahrain and bolster cooperation, praising the Kingdom's progress in various fields. The meeting discussed issues of mutual concern. His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa to attend a reception held by Chinese Ambassador to Bahrain, Mr. Xi Zihong, at the Ritz Carlton Hotel, marking the 67th National Day of China. The reception was attended by a number of officials and diplomatic corps in Bahrain. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa conveyed the greetings of His Royal the Prime Minister to the Chinese leadership and people on this national occasion, wishing the friendly country further progress and prosperity. Prosperity. They also praised the developing Bahraini Chinese relations in all different fields and the strong and outstanding bilateral ties that are based on mutual respect and joint keenness on enhancing cooperation for the best interests of both friendly countries and people. For his part, the Chinese ambassador expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support to bolster cooperation between the two friendly countries. The Chinese ambassador also asserted his country's keen interest on expanding horizons of cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain on all various levels. Now we hand you over to Danielle for the latest business news. Thanks very much, Mohammed. A very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Cloud 10 Technology Accelerator Program, or Scalarator, was launched last night in the Kingdom by technology investment firm C5 in partnership with Amazon Web Services, the Bahrain Economic Development Board, and Tamkeen. Cloud 10 is the first platform of its kind in the region, created to help young revenue-generating technology firms in various sectors to scale up their businesses using cloud computing. The program offers a structured three-month program of intensive mentorship, providing practical tools for growing enterprises quickly and potential international investment. There will also be an academy to train executives, business executives and young officials in cloud computing skills. Through the Cloud 10 program, C5 and Amazon Web Services aim to create 300 technology championships in the EMEA region over the next four years. Cloud infrastructure spending across the EMEA region is now $40 billion annually, with revenue growth projected to remain strong over the coming few years. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,134.12 points, increasing by 2.17 points above yesterday's closing level. While the industrial and investment sectors rose, the services sector represented the majority 51% of total share value traded. There was a grand total of 32 transactions today, comprising 1,019,174 shares, worth 175,548 Bahraini dinars.